you say George said, shut down! Shut down! When I say fight for, you say justice! Fight for! Fight for! Yeah! What an incredible list of leaders we got speaking out against this government and their psychotic energy policy. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited to introduce our next speaker. She's an incredible leader with a powerful spirit, a powerful voice, representing the ancestors of her people. And she's been leading her people in the charge against the evil, treacherous intentions of the Pipeline Corporation, Enbridge. Enbridge Pipeline Company been trying to build a pipeline through their territory. I'd like to introduce Chief Jacqueline Thomas of Sykes First Nation, representing the Yinka Denny Alliance, five First Nations in the interior of BC, who are putting a stop to Enbridge Gateway's proposal to build a pipeline across northern BC. Join me in welcoming Chief Jackie Thomas and Youth Leader Jasmine Thomas, who's going to be standing up here to support her chief. Masi Cho Clayton. Firstly, I want to thank my brothers and sisters of the Algonquin Nation. You allow us to speak on your traditional territory. In my language, I say Masi Megwich. My name is Jackie Thomas. I'm the chief of Saika's First Nation. I am one community in an alliance of five communities in my territories. We are the Nablewaten, Nakazli, Takla, and what's it then? We live right in the middle of what is now called British Columbia, and the people of our nations are standing up. We are standing up to protect our communities from the proposed Enbridge pipelines. They want to bulldoze their way through our lands and our rivers. We are standing up to protect our water from the tar sand oil spills. We're standing up to protect and the pipeline that would threaten our brothers and sisters on the coast with oil tankers that could destroy their culture and their communities. We're standing up for our friends in the United States whose waters will be put at risk by the Keystone XL pipeline. We are standing up for our Coast Salish brothers and sisters in Vancouver and Vancouver Island who are threatened by Kinder Morgan's plans to make Vancouver a tar sands oil port. We are standing up to protect our Cree and Diné brothers and sisters downstream of the tar sands who are being poisoned and who are dying from tar sands oil extraction. We're standing up to protect all our neighbors and all creation from the threat of global climate change. Our brothers and sisters in the south, our Inuit brothers and sisters in the north, and all people everywhere. That's why we're here, to stand up with all of you and to send these Ottawa politicians a message. We will put a wall that Enbridge pipelines cannot break through. Almost one quarter of the Enbridge pipeline would run through the ter territories of the Yinka Dene Alliance. We have used our own laws to consider the pipeline and made our decision. Enbridge will not be allowed through our lands. It's not just us. There are more than 80 First Nations in BC who have used their laws to prohibit tar sands pipeline tankers. More than 60 nations have signed the Fra Save the Fraser Declaration, banning tar sand pipelines from the entire middle of BC on the Fraser watershed. <laughs> the coastal First Nations ban tankers on their coast. Tar sand pipelines and tankers are not allowed to cross BC, period. It is the law of our land, mark my words, 
If Enbridge tries to disobey our laws, we will use every means available under Indigenous, Canadian and international law to enforce our decision. I can do Enbridge a favour right now with the advice. And doing Enbridge any favours is not normally my cup of tea. But I'll try to help them out again by telling them this. Don't try us. All my teachings, my most valuable teachings is what I receive from my Atsu, my Kokum, my grandmother. She's a medicine person and healer in my community and she taught me that if we don't take care of the land, the land won't take care of us. She set an example for all of us to follow and we try our best to follow her teachings. We're trying to create a sustainable opportunity for our young people in a good way for our own community to stay strong and for us to continue to live our culture. This is not just about protecting ourselves as Yinka Dene, for we are all connected. So we have to formally unite in solidarity with First Nations in BC, all the Dene nations from the north up to the Arctic Ocean to oppose the project. We are also connected to our settler neighbors who have welcomed, who we have welcomed into our territories. They drink water too. They need a healthy climate for their grandchildren. Our laws mean we must also look after them, even though for generations the Canadian and provincial governments have stolen from us and hurt our people and hurt our children. We will fight to protect our neighbours from oil spills too. Now Enbridge has come to our nation and offered us money to shut up and open our lands. Have they not been listening? I have sat face to face with the Enbridge CEO in Calgary. I've looked them right in the eye and told them we will never accept a single penny from them. We told them about our laws, we told them about our ways, and we explained from our hearts and our minds that we can never never accept their oil pipelines into our land. Maybe Canada's government is interested in bending or watering down their own laws for oil companies and for money. Our government doesn't work like that. Our laws don't work like that. We have our own laws, our own parliament. Our feast hall is our parliament and for thousands of years this is how we've used our government to protect our lands. And we're not going to stop now. Enbridge wants our nations to go back on our word and to abandon our laws, our duties to the Creator and our obligations to our ancestors and to our future generations. They want us to give it all up for a few worthless pen pennies and promises. We've seen that routine in Canadian history and we say no. We say no to their promises and their pipelines. We say no to the tar sands. We say no to the destruction of our land, water and people. We will never trade away the safety of our rivers and lands and the fisheries that are our lifeblood. Last year, Canada said it intends to uphold the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People.
Canada can try to weaken it, but for us it means the tar sands, pipelines like Enbridge and Keystone and tar sands mining itself need to have free, prior and informed consent. We've been informed and we do not consent. I know all of you here are gathered and you support us. We know we heard about the gathering in Washington. We thank all the people that have supported us. We need their strength, your prayers, because we're in the long fight together. And we're going to keep standing up. We'll stand up against the pipeline. We will stand up against the tar sands. We stand up against and all of these companies, and yes, we will stand up against Ottawa. Yeah. We're standing up for a positive, sustainable future for our children and our grandchildren. And with your support, we can stand up together, and we will not sit down. The laws of the Yinka Dene people give us no other choice. Masi, thank you, miigwech. Holy smokes. Yeah. Chief Jackie Thomas, Jasmine Thomas.